everyone, welcome back to Life in Pixels. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm gonna to be doing a speed build of the Thin House Challenge. James Turner is the one that originated this challenge and I'm using his shell that is on the gallery. So when you download this shell, the blue and the red townhouses are both in place and then your challenge is to build a thin house in the middle of these two townhouses. So they're just shells, there's no floors or anything in the blue and the red townhouses. And when James did this challenge, when I watched his video, he said that in, he got his inspiration from, I believe the country is Sweden, but I am possibly wrong on that. It's been a couple of weeks since I watched his video on this challenge, but there's a country where your property taxes are calculated based on how wide your house is. And so when you build a thinner house, your property taxes are cheaper. So I thought that was really like a little fun bit of information. If y'all know what that country is, if you remember, let me know down below because I honestly can't remember what it is. But so anyway, I built this really skinny little four story townhouse in the middle which I've watched a couple other people do these challenges and I think everybody ends up going the whole four floors because honestly you need that much height to really maximize your space. And one of the hardest things as you can see right now, I'm kind of struggling with stair placement. I think that's like the hardest part of this challenge because the stairs take up so much room and you're trying to maximize your living space. Now, of course, this would be easier to do if I waited a few weeks until the Eco Lifestyle Pack is about to come out because we're gonna get a free base game update giving us ladders. So, of course, ladders would make this challenge a lot easier. You would be able to get a lot more space um, without having the stairs take up all that room, but that's kind of part of the fun of the challenge, I think, is putting everything in while having the staircases. So right here on the bottom floor, I went ahead and placed the kitchen because, I mean, I know it's The Sims and they don't go buy groceries, but just for like a little touch of realism, if you did live in a house that was four stories tall, could you imagine lugging your groceries up like a bunch of flights of stairs? Like, oh, that would be awful. So I went ahead and made it the first floor. As you could see just now, like the camera jumped weird. I'm sorry, that does happen throughout the build somewhat. I did try to cut as many of those jumps out as I could because I know that that could be annoying. But since the townhouses on either side of this don't have any floors, they're just empty shells and what you're trying to decorate is such a skinny space. Like the camera was jumping all over the place. It was going wild. So that I would say was probably the most frustrating thing for me was actually the camera <laughs> bouncing all over the place was a little more frustrating than the actual thinness of the house. And then this is actually the third floor. I jumped up a little bit. Um, to go ahead and put the furniture down for the living room and then I'm about to put a bed upstairs to see if it'll fit. Whenever I build, I like to just go ahead and place down like the basic furniture and see if everything fits, make sure that I have the scale right for everything and then I go through and I add all of the small details and the decoration. I do that with I think every single build that I've ever done just because I, if I need to make adjustments, I don't want to have spent so much time putting down clutter or decorations and then just have to move everything. So that's a little tip that I use. I find it helpful. Um, that's just something I like to do. And as you can see, here's our bathroom. It's on the second floor and most of it was already done. I did cut out most of me doing the bathroom because it just took so so long for me to try to figure out the floor plan for the bathroom and on that second floor I put the staircase like off in the like at the end of the house I was gonna say hallway because basically the whole house is a hallway but I put it off to the end of the house um just so I could have the most room for the bathroom but figuring out the floor plan I don't know took me forever 
So here I am just decorating the kitchen. I wanted to give it kind of an industrial look. This whole build gave me kind of an industrial loft type vibe. Of course, it's not a loft because it's not just one big area. But even though it's spread out on multiple floors, I just kind of got industrial loft vibes from it. Um, and that really started with the kitchen. I usually do kitchens first in most of my builds because that really kind of sets the tone for the rest of the build in my opinion and also probably because the kitchen in real life is my absolute favorite place because I love to cook so kitchens are always really important to me. I usually make them huge and sprawling probably much larger than what we really need in The Sims but because they're my favorite i just like to decorate my fantasy kitchens um i mean i have a pretty decent kitchen in real life but i just love to decorate kitchens so it was actually a real challenge for me to make such a thin kitchen but that was really fun it's kind of like a galley kitchen like those long skinny kitchens that a lot of apartments have so that was really fun and then my second favorite room is actually bathrooms. I know a lot of people just cut out bathrooms entirely from their speed builds because they think they're boring and they don't like to decorate them. I super love to decorate bathrooms. I don't know why. I just think they're so fun. I think it's because I love to decorate with clutter in The Sims. I love to just put in a lot of clutter in every single like little nook and cranny and I think bathrooms are really a place where clutter can shine. Um, I can never have enough like little bottles and things all around so I think they're just really fun. Here in the living room I used the sofa and the chair from Tiny Living. I thought that they kind of went with that whole they're not exactly like in what I would call industrial pieces of furniture, but they complement industrial pieces nicely in my opinion. And they really add that like pop of color because the walls and a lot of the furniture that I used was with like the browns and the black type color scheme. And so that pop of color from the furniture I thought was a really nice touch. Once I started putting in the clutter, and I created this little office nook over here. Um, if you could see, I put that like old timey camera decoration on top of the bookshelf. And this was about the time that I started envisioning like the sim that would maybe live in a place like this. So I was thinking maybe a younger sim who was a photographer or maybe a designer or both because I just liked that kind of style going along with the industrial and then living in this like really thin house that according to James is cheaper so I'm just gonna go based on what he said because I don't know otherwise so I was thinking maybe this person is a young photographer maybe they haven't been out on their own for too long and so they found this little bitty thin house in the middle of these other two houses and they decided to move in there maybe they're moving out on their own for the first time and I thought it would just be fun to clutter it up with some artsy sort of decorations and as you can see by the bedroom I leaned a little more feminine into this build I tend to do a lot of my builds more feminine I don't know maybe it's because I'm a girl and I like to do like I like I like girly things I really like the industrial look and stuff like that but I also like really girly like clutter and cutesy stuff in real life and also in the sims so I think that I just tend to lean my builds a little more feminine when I'm not building for any one particular sim and I just tend to play female sims more in general anyway so it's just easier for me to kind of conceptualize that when I'm building but I really want to challenge myself and branch out and maybe build for just a single guy or maybe a single dad. I'm gonna start branching out and doing more builds based on some more unique and diverse characters because I tend to make a lot of my sims similar and that can get old so 
I'm going to start branching out. But for now, we're dealing with a female artist. And then I also put a guitar up in her bedroom. I thought maybe playing guitar might be a hobby that she has when she's not doing her photography. And I'm sorry if I'm bouncing kind of up and down with decorating. I tend to do that a lot. I won't just usually decorate one room completely. Like I'll go through and I'll put clutter in all the rooms and then I'll go through and I'll put like I put the rugs down after that and then now I'm putting wall art everywhere. I went ahead and to bring in those pops of color like I mentioned earlier I did a lot of that through wall art. I put a lot of vibrant paintings throughout. Um, I was really embracing that sort of artistic element because I'm like you know, if she's a photographer, she's clearly into like artistic type things. And so I wanted to give her a lot of cool art to go with like the brick look. I think it pops nicely. And oh, I really love this part. I put a shelf above her bed and I just cluttered it up with a bunch of random things. I put a couple of snow globes. I put one of the sugar skulls and that weird little like stuffed guy from Strangerville and I just thought it would be really fun to think that she picked up these little souvenirs maybe when she was hanging out with friends or when she goes to maybe she travels for photography and goes to different locations and she picks up a little souvenir while she's out and about and so I thought that was really cute and another excuse to add in some more clutter because I always need an excuse to add in more clutter. And I really love this little tray that's to the left of her bed right now that came from Tiny Living. Oh my God, I love that tray. I know I'm gonna overuse that tray so, so much in upcoming builds. I'm definitely gonna use it way too much, but it's adorable. And also I'm putting a lot of artwork around. That's another bad habit I have. Do y'all do the same thing where when there's a blank wall in your sims build that you just feel compelled to put something on it i was trying to think i'm a little bit like that in real life too like i have decorations everywhere and i have wall art everywhere because i just i don't know i can't stand to just have like a blank spot for too long i really like everything to feel all nice and cozy and for me cozy is having just a lot of stuff that I like surrounding me so let me know are y'all the same way like in real life or in the sims like do you just have to fill in like every single little nook and cranny with something because I feel compelled to do that and sometimes it annoys me because I'm like oh I have to pick out another piece of clutter oh I have to pick out another piece of clutter and I should really just kind of chill and maybe I'll practice a minimalistic build at some point. Again, branching out of my comfort zone, being a little more diverse with what I have going on. So that could be fun. Um, and then I gave her, I think, all of the postcards there on the bulletin board because again, I was thinking maybe she travels for her photography. So she's probably been to a lot of places. So I went ahead and did that. So if you decide to download this house and play in it, then you will have completed the postcard collection because I'm pretty sure I put them all down. I was also really tempted to use the My First Pet Stuff postcards when I was cluttering it up, but I know a lot of people don't have My First Pet Stuff. Um, and I understand why, like I get it, but I'm one of those people that I have to have every single pack or I feel like I'm missing out on something. So I was tempted to use them, but I refrained because I know most people don't like it. And I think this is about wrapping it up and we will be on to screenshots. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.